With a CT scan, Professor Van Isis can examine Alan's entire body. He explores the outer layers of soft tissue. The skin itself has this leathery appearance, which indicates that he has become mummified all over. We can see it over the chest, over the arms in particular. It does look as if it's a pretty uniform mummification, which is good. The body cavities are scanned for signs of decay. We can actually take layers off the body and go down to the cavity. The decomposition process seems to have been arrested. Even the deepest tissues are stable. It makes me very confident that his tissues have been mummified correctly and in a very successful manner. But the final proof is still to come. For a modern day cab driver to be reborn as an Egyptian pharaoh, he has to look the part. In a break with Egyptian tradition, they unwrap his face and compare him to how other Egyptian mummies look, unmasked. Right, Alan, this is your moment of truth. Let's see how we look, Annie. Wow. There you go, Alan. Still him. It works. Yeah. The soul would recognize him, no question. Brilliant. Definitely a success. Very yeah. Good. Yeah. Yeah, you can still tell it's Alan. Yeah, definitely. Okay. Absolutely. The hair has been preserved, both the head and the stubble and the eyebrows. Um, and, and so really, I mean, the result is fantastic. It's very pleasing. It's been so successful, it's extraordinary. We're the very first people to see a mummy produced in this way. I'm impressed at in what good shape that body is. I think this is a great research project. We're learning more about what they did 3,000 years ago.